time for stealth, Lucius. You need to get those. Firewall's augmented fast. If he notices, well, we'll figure it out from there. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What is it? Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. <laughs> You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? Tonight? Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. Don't screw this up, Harvey. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, of course. Of course it was the right thing to do. I just can't second-guess myself. We need to talk. Oh, Batman. What a surprise to see you on my roof. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? What are you gonna do? You gonna break my legs? <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. Calm down, Dent. I just want to talk. Oh, really? Your guy like you seems like he doesn't do a whole lot of just talking. Ah, funny. Would have thought that this Wayne situation would be a little... beneath you, Batman. After everything Bruce has done, why should I do anything for him? Wayne was your friend. He put his faith in you, supported your campaign. He betrayed me! He lied to my face while sneaking around behind my back! Now Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Hill and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Ready to go. Do it. What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Jesus Christ! That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. I don't care what your end goal was. Even one innocent life is too high a cost. Then you're thinking too small. I doubt the police would see it that way. The police? Oh, the smart ones already answer to me. Otherwise, well, I think Gordon is already a perfect example of what happens to the not-so-smart ones. Bet he wishes he had just handed over the location of the drug stockpile when I asked. <laughs> what did you say about Gordon? <laughs> Where is he? 
getting what's coming to him. Oh, you're so full of big scary talk. <clears throat> Tell me where he is. Now! <laughs> you're too late, Batman. By now, he's just another corpse in Crime Alley. Back off of Wayne, huh? <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. Mayor Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No! He's trying to help! The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is... Batman! What a mess. Thank you, Save Batman. Save the thanks. And explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on. Let's hear it. Calm down, Gordon. Oh, calm down, he says. Two of my own officers were just about to execute me. A whole department of rats and you're pointing a finger at me. Tell me what you know. By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive, and he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Execution and martial law. I know. I always considered him my friend, but he's past saving. There's no world in which he manages to set this right. My job isn't to save him. If he's hurting this city, then he needs to be stopped. It's all circling the drain. Dent was a real hope for this city, and now... He's not the man he used to be. We have a lot of work to do. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. The real threat on the streets is still the children of Arkham. They are what Dent is reacting to. And standing in the way of dealing with them, too. The precinct trusts you. The commissioner trusts you. Use that. Direct their focus. <sighs> yeah. Gotta handle this first, though. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. What's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the bat computer. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? <laughs> Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. I'm going home. Understood. See you soon. <laughs> 